All right, dude. Drink up. All right, what's the occasion? Drunken master. Nice. Welcome back to the Out of Touch Podcast. I'm Chris, and that's Bill, and today we are watching The Legend of the Drunken Master, or Drunken Master 2. Or just The Legend of Drunken Master. Right. Uh, very confusing. So the version I watched of this movie was Drunken Master 2. Uh, the version I watched was The Legend of Drunken Master. Yes. Um, we both watched the dub. Apparently your dub had Jackie Chan do the voice. My dub had some weird guy do the voice, which... He wasn't bad, but it wasn't Jackie Chan, but that's okay. That must have been distracting as hell. It's fine. I've seen lots of Jackie Chan movies where Jackie Chan is not doing the voice because I, I'm, I'm not going to watch it in the native language because I'm like, I want to watch the movie. I don't want to read the movie. So, you I know. mean, I get that. <laughs> I mean, I've seen the first Drunken Master, and that one was not dubbed. That's an older movie. That wasn't dubbed by Jackie Chan. But I've seen this movie a couple times, and it was with the Jackie Chan voice. And I'm like, yeah, right on. Jackie Chan sounds like Jackie Chan. I mean, it's one of Jackie Chan's like most iconic roles, I guess. It's a legendary movie. It's a great movie. It's super fun. It's really fun. Like, not only is Jackie Chan like a fun character in the movie who, I think his name is Fei Hong, but like, he's got his like stepmom that's kind of funny <laughs> in the movie too. Oh man, she's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's, it's a good movie. It's got a lot of characters in it. So, where do you want to begin with Legend of the Drunken Master? I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You know, it is a sequel to the original Drunken Master, but it's pretty much a standalone movie. Yeah. So you don't really need to have seen the first one, but, you know, give it a watch. It's another fun Jackie Chan movie. It's kind of weird, too, for it being a sequel, because, like, the original, I think, came out in, like, 1980. and then uh, Late 70s, I think. Yeah, and then... This one came out in 1994, so, yeah. <laughs> you know, part of me is just like, you know, I always complain about, like, late sequels, but I'm like, well, I guess sometimes they get it right. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's a sequel, but don't worry about it. It's just another fun movie. Yeah. Because the, the only real connection is like, yeah, he's the same character, I guess. I don't even think his father's played by the same guy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's funny, like, I meant to look it up, too, but, like, the father in the movie looked so familiar, and I was just like, is he... See Master Payne from Kung Pao, but I don't know. <laughs> like, he probably isn't, but <laughs> for a minute there, I was just like, oh my God, is that Betty? That, like, <laughs> that would be weird. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, I know Kung Pao has, like, a real movie that yeah. they took the footage of, and I'm like, is he that guy? I'll shake your bouncy booty. Hit it! You can't touch this. That guy, but. It's hard to find that movie, yeah. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? But. Yeah, I mean, I love this movie. This movie has some of the greatest, like, fight scenes in it out of, like, any of the Jackie Chan movies, honestly. Yeah, it leans less into the slapstick, though there's still a good amount of that. Yeah. I'd say, like, the beginning, the fight under the train is kind of slapsticky. A little, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. more slapstick. Like, there is slapstick to the fights, but compared to, like, like some of the stuff from, like, Rumble in the Bronx and stuff like that, yeah. it's not as much, but it's still a lot, a lot of the stuff you'd expect. Yeah, I mean, what can you say? Jackie Chan is, like, a legend. He is, like, one of the greatest martial artists ever on the, like, movie screen. His fights are so... I don't know how to explain him. I think you once explained it as, like, improvisational martial arts in some ways. <laughs> like... I, he, he found a way to perfectly combine amazing fight choreography with three stooge antics. Yeah. And he blended them beautifully. Yeah, because he's always, like, grabbing stuff and, like, yes. he's in his environment. And in this case, you know, he's getting he's getting shit-faced to fight better. So he, he's a master of drunken boxing. It's also, like, a technique, but it's also, like, for some reason he needs to be drunk to do it better. So, like, his Popeye spinach is just booze. Yeah. There's lots of booze. And it's much to the chagrin of his father who's just like, stop that. Yeah. He's <laughs> just like, stop real kung fu. You know, and... The drunken martial artist thing has been a thing, like, forever for We're Alive. But, like, I don't know if this was even, like, a thing before these movies, like, I, Drunken Kung Fu or whatever. That I could not say. I'm sure dr the Drunken Master movies really, like, popularized it and 
made it more well-known, I guess. Yeah, because, like, there's that one character in Virtual Fighter, I always remember, that, like, does the drunken kung fu. There has to be a attacking te- character that did drunken kung fu. We won't talk about the Mortal Kombat one, because he's gross. <laughs> yeah, there's, like, a Mortal Kombat character that does drunken kung fu, but he also, like, throws up on people. Yeah. yeah and I'm like, God damn it, Mortal Kombat. Ah, You're so more- cool sometimes, but then it's just like, tone it down, come on. <laughs> but this was, like, the PS2 era Mortal Kombat, so well, that, they're a little weird. I, I kind of skipped that entire era. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sub-Zero looked awesome, because he looked like the Shredder. <laughs> oh, okay, I remember yeah. that. <laughs> in Deception, but... Remember, yeah. I just remember seeing that and being like, huh. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the drunken kung fu master and, you know, Fei Hong is that. And Yeah, this movie, it's got a pretty s- simple, straightforward plot. There are some nefarious evil British men who are trying to smuggle away uh, some Chinese artifacts and uh, they're, I don't know, trying to stop them, I guess. Yeah, pretty much, you know, it's... I guess, like, a classic trope of, like, kung fu movies sometimes where it's just, like, the British are here, they're bad, they're occupying stuff, they're stealing away Chinese culture, because that's what they did in real life, and, <laughs> you know, like, martial artists have to stop them because they're bad. They and Also, there's, like, a subplot with them wanting to buy Fei Hong's father's land because they don't like all the the noise yeah all the kung fu <laughs> stuff going on all that loud kung fu and in the at eight o'clock at night yeah. <laughs> yeah the british man is just like how dare you yeah there's of course like the evil kung fu martial artist guys who are just like 100 percent like like the thing i love most is money i don't care about my country and stuff like that it's like you're gonna sell them our history yeah for money yeah yeah <laughs> seriously <laughs> And they're all wearing suits. <laughs> Evil Western suits. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a less dramatic version of Vip Man, even though that was even more intense because that was Japanese people. Oh, man. <laughs> That's the thing with, like, uh, you know, a lot of Chinese kung fu movies. It's just, like, the bad guys are either British or Japanese <laughs> <laughs> because of history. <laughs> like, like the, the British villains are just kind of mustache twirling, but the Japanese are, like, reprehensible. Yeah. <laughs> And it is so weird, like, before, like, you know, martial arts, I know, like, you know, English people and Europeans would refer to, like, martial arts as, like, oh, yeah, they're, like, weird boxers. Because, like, that's all they knew. World-famous pugilists and whatever. <laughs> put, up your, put up your dukes, boys. Yeah. <laughs> Just like, whoa, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, don't kick me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, they're using their feet. What is up with this? Yeah. <laughs> but... Yeah, you know, there's just, like, a lot of iconic stuff that, in this movie, that I've watched over and over again, being set to, like, music and stuff, (laughs) because, like, it's so good, like, that fight in the restaurant with all the guys with, like, the hatchets and stuff. The axe gang. Yeah. There's so many of them. It's just, like, insane, like, how it (laughs) escalates, because it's just, like, Fei Hong and, like, the master guy, who I always forget his name, it's, like, Xiao Long or something. And, like, they're just sitting there eating, and then all of a sudden, it's like, hey, there's, like, nobody here. Where'd everybody go? <laughs> yeah, and then all of a sudden, it's just like, holy shit! <laughs> all these guys show up. And... There's, like, 50 guys with hatchets! <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's a scene with Jackie Chan, like, you know, he's, like, under the table and, like, spinning around while they're all, like, you know, hatcheting him. But, like... Oh, man, he gets a hold of that, like, bamboo stick, and it gets, like, cut up, and he's just, like, sp- Spinning it around, he's like cutting them up like crazy. Yeah. I always forget, like, oh yeah, bamboo's really sharp. Yeah. You learned that the hard way once. I, I did learn it the hard way, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and we will not get into that because holy shit, that even made my foot hurt after you said that. <laughs> <laughs> he stepped on bamboo once. I did, and it went right through my shoe into my foot. Ow. <laughs> Don't get a puncture wound, kids. It is a tough injury to heal from. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, bamboo. Very dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> he really he really messes those guys up with it. It's pretty crazy. It is. Like it, that scene is just so good. <laughs> and like, man, it's just like like all the work it goes into like making those scenes too cuz like, you know, all those guys like fall out of the windows at one point. <laughs> like I think even Jackie Chan like jumps out of the window at one point. Oh yeah, there's a lot of in- jumping in and out of windows in this movie. <laughs> it's insane. But yeah, and it's funny because that fight is a little later in the movie. Like, we get some other ones too. Like, we get the one where he, like, first does, like, the real drunken boxing. Yeah, because 
he has a package at one point with what was it Gin, ginseng or ginseng Gin, ginseng ginseng yeah. that gets mixed up with the package they're trying to steal with the the imperial seal yes and it, they think that they're that they're carrying it around but it's just a stepmom selling a diamond necklace or what or pointing a diamond necklace so they grab a lady's purse and a whole big fight breaks out and they grab a whole bunch of bottles from the restaurant charge it to jack chance dad yeah <laughs> throw him the bottles and he starts going he go it's it's his popeye Da, yep. da, 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 da. <laughs> he drinks all the booze and it just goes haywire. Just becomes all loosey goosey with the <laughs> chunky kung fu. Oh yeah, it it is kind of funny too because like you know there's like a contrast to that scene too because it's like yeah he like when he does a drunken kung fu right he's like unstoppable it's just like he's fighting everybody but then there's like the other scene where he's just like you know pass out drunk and like you know the main like bad guy who is like. The kicking master yeah like the, the uber henchman <laughs> yeah he he shows up and he's just like what do you mean this guy's good it's just like and he's just like drunk he's too can't. drunk at that point yeah i can't do anything his dad kicked him out because it's like oh. it's like he beat up all of you what the hell yeah <laughs> oh man that scene where the dad kicks him out it's playing like both like dramatically sad but also kind of slapsticky silly because they're like flinging him around a bit yeah <laughs> yeah like, the dad is, like, really weirdly angry, like, in that scene, too, where he's threatening to, like, beat the mom, and you're like, Jesus Christ, dude, calm down. Like, and then the mom's like, I'm pregnant! And he's just like, oh my god, I can't believe it! <laughs> like, the lady that plays the mom is really good. She's, like, really good in the movie, and, like, she doesn't really fight that much, but she has a few scenes where she does some moves. She is very acrobatic. Yeah. Like, she kind of reminds me of, like you know, like, I love Lucy Lady a little bit, like, in the movie. <laughs> she's like if, if Lucille Ball also knew martial arts. Yeah. Because she's got that, yeah, but then she's like, wah, wah, wah. Yeah, it's kind of like that, because, like, she has a lot of personality. Oh, yeah. She's, like, playing the Mahjong at the beginning, <laughs> and then, like, they all have to, like, hide because, like, the dad doesn't want her to be gambling, and he's just like, oh, I'm just, I'm just helping these ladies out they came here because they have cramps and then like <laughs> jack chan's character is like who won he like knows <laughs> she's like she's like shut up <laughs> like, shut the fuck up <laughs> yeah but like it's a good dynamic between jackie chan and this lady like yeah, his stepmom yeah <laughs> who but, honestly looks like she's the same age as jackie chan a little bit if not younger <laughs> yeah yeah maybe a little bit i don't know i don't know how old jack chan was when he did this movie i, I think mean... i read somewhere he might have been like 39 oh wow really yeah. okay yeah <laughs> so yeah i guess uh <laughs> it is kind of funny then, <laughs> yeah <laughs> and who knows maybe, maybe she is like younger than jackie chan but who knows? It's a movie. It doesn't matter. But yeah, you know, so many iconic things in this movie too. Like that fight in like the metal, the steel uh, mill. Steel mill. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the escalation of it too is like pretty good. Where like, you know, we get like the lead up to that fight too. But like that guy who's doing all those kicks, like he's incredible. Like, in a suit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like I don't know who that guy is if he's been in any other movies, but like that guy is freaking amazing i would assume yeah, other martial I mean, he arts must movies. be yeah he must have like a bunch of movies in china that he did but like man like he's just like kicking up a storm there's the one scene where he's just like standing there just doing like a full split like in the air <laughs> while, while standing on one leg just like jesus christ like that guy barely punches he just oh he's, he's all like, kicks yeah he's just all legs that guy that guy skips arm day yeah. and just does leg day every day but, like, the, the control he has is just insane. And to be fair, Jackie Chan does some of that stuff, too, later on in that fight when he gets, like, his drunk powers. Yeah, when he finds industrial alcohol and, I don't know, poisons himself. Yeah, I mean, like, that is insane. He drinks, like, I, who knows what that is, like, ethanol or whatever. But yeah, when he spits it out, it, like, starts a fire. <laughs> it's kerosene or something horrible yeah, like that. Yeah, it's, like, lighter fluid or something. <laughs> It, it is insane. Like, that fight is so good, though, between those two. And just, like, the stunt work, too. I mean, like, Jackie Chan is so insane. The hot coals? I mean, yeah! Like, he did that in real life. That's insane. Yeah. He's like, I thought, I'm like, oh, I'm sure they're not really hot coals. And then you're like, no, no, did you not watch the outtakes? Yeah. <laughs> they were spraying him down. I wouldn't even call them outtakes in this movie, even though some of them are 
outtakes at the end of the movie but it's more like behind the scenes more or less in the yeah. credits and yeah they're spraying them down with fire extinguishers and like water and stuff after that scene it's like dude there, there could have been another way yeah even the scene where he like holds up the table and the guy has like the hot like poker and stuff and jackie chan like drops the table and he's just like ah <laughs> like and i was just like jeez man <laughs> He's like, I love you, Jackie Chan. You're the best. <laughs> He's broken almost every single bone in his body, probably. Man, he probably has. <laughs> but, I mean, he's incredible in this movie. Like, I don't know what else I could say about it. it it's so good. It's so iconic. Now, uh, I have a question. I After the fight, you know, he kind of, blo- some bubbles comes out, and he kind of goes, thunk. And then there's, like, a little, like, ceremony or whatever. It's like, oh, where is he? Ah, he's sleeping off the... Uh, feel effects and then the credits roll i heard that there's like in the like the chinese version there's like another scene where like he's like really fucked up by what what, what happened i don't yeah. know if that was in the version you watched yes it is okay so it's not the version i watched here's the weird part about it though so the version i watched that scene plays but there's no sound because i guess they didn't dub it but then at the very end the part with him being drunk just like all of a sudden has sound and he's, like, wearing this, like, really weird outfit, and he makes this, like, ridiculous face to the camera, and that's how the movie ends. Huh. Yeah. Weird. It is weird. Like, I wish the version I was watching had, like, a toggle, because, like, in some ways, it's just, like, I would like to see what it plays like in, like, the original language, just to see, like, is this too weird to watch in Chinese for me, but... Like, especially with that part where, like, it's like, okay, this part wasn't dubbed. We're going to include it in the movie. But, like, it just has no sound. And it's literally for, like, three minutes of just, like, no sound for some reason. It's the Amazon version, just to let you know. Hmm. So, yeah. Was it free prime? I could probably watch this for myself. It's not on free prime. Uh, Never mind that. I ain't paying for it. (laughs) I own the movie on DVD already. Yeah. (laughs) It's extremely weird that that part, like, plays with no sound on Amazon. And I'm just like, what is I mean, Amazon video has got a lot of weird... (laughs) things about it sometimes it does it really does it has some good things now too like it has that like enhanced like uh dialogue thing which is kind of cool for certain things helps my old parents hear stuff so (laughs) but anyway yeah i just like was surprised when i read like oh there was like slightly more i'm like oh it sounds like it ended on like a weird darkish note kind of yeah, I you know, without it being dubbed, like, I don't really know the context of it, but, like, Jackie Chan just makes this, like, really weird face at the end. I think from what I was reading, it was just like, yeah, like, he had, might have permanently fucked himself up. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's what happens when you drink kerosene, I guess. Don't drink kerosene! <laughs> just permanently become drunk. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, don't drink until you know kung fu really well. I don't know. I've I've only seen the version I've seen. Yeah. Uh, b- both times I watched it, it's on the same copy, so I don't know. Yes, this is this is the first time I saw this version of the movie where it was not dubbed by Jackie Chan. Hmm. I was disappointed. I was like, "What the heck? Like, why isn't that the default version?" But <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I'm surprised. It's fine. I mean, I've watched those like police story movies a bunch of times, and like that dub i've seen it's not jaggy chan so i'm like used to it yeah it is what it is but those are also really good jack chan movies but yeah i love the drunken master it's so good it's like the jaggy chan movie even though he has so many great movies it's insane how many movies he's made he's done two drunken masters i know the original drunken master also has a spinoff that was like made not long after with like the guy that taught him the drunken style okay i don't know if he was training somebody else or something and then like the guy who directed this he fell out with Jackie Chan. They disagreed on how the fight scene should be shot. Apparently, Jackie Chan shot, like, most of the final fight. Like, he directed it himself. And it's just, like, just watching that fight, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to say Jackie Chan was right. This fight's freaking awesome. Yeah. And that guy apparently went on and made Drunken Master 3, but not with Jackie Chan. It has nothing to do with this. And I think people just dismiss it as a, a cheap knockoff. Man, it's insane. Jackie Chan, like, he directs movies. He, like does like voices apparently he's the voice of aladdin and like sings all the songs in chinese i, I know he's really <laughs> like, aladdin too yeah because i know he <laughs> like, does the one voice in mulan yeah but like yeah in the chinese language version of aladdin i think he plays aladdin and like i was like what <laughs> like yeah he sings 
does like martial arts and stuff. Well, I know like, she does the the Be a Man song in Mulan too. Yeah. Like there's like a music video. Yeah. <laughs> like it's insane. Like he's just like such a stupidly talented guy. <laughs> like that's done all this cool shit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Drunken Master, if you've never seen it, yeah. definitely watch it. Crack a beer. Put your yeah. feet up. Enjoy yourself. There's yeah. a few parts in this movie I was like just cracking up at. Because <laughs> yeah. that stepmom's hilarious. Jackie Chan's hilarious. The fights are cool. It's a great movie. It's like kind of like the Jack Chan movie, but there's like a couple of like really insanely good Jack Chan movies. But I would say if you if you really like Jackie Chan and you've never seen this movie, you gotta watch this movie because it's one of his probably one of his best. I don't know. Yeah. He's made so many that I I, I still need. There's plenty I still need to see. Me too. I mean, uh, there's a Jackie Chan Volume 1 collection and Volume 2 collection that I keep saying, oh, I should buy this, and yeah, then I Shout don't. Yeah, Factory. Yeah. The Criterion just released a collection of Jackie Chan movies. They have a set, a set of the Police Story 1 and 2. Yes. Which I did get that one. Yes. <laughs> as did I. Just which I up. haven't watched the Criterion version because I'm like, I wonder if they redubbed it with Jackie Chan doing the voice. Read the back of the box. Yeah. They'll tell you because. <laughs> A lot of times with these Criterion things, they'll have, like, multiple versions of the same movie. Which is insane. That's one thing I like. It's just, like, give me both versions. Yeah, like, give me every version of this movie. Yeah. I don't care. I don't... Give, give me the, the, the regular version of RoboCop, the unrated version of RoboCop, and the TV version of RoboCop. Just give them to me. Yeah. I'll choose which one I want to watch. She's like, yes, maybe I'll watch the Chinese version once and only once, but, like, I want to have the option to watch it. <laughs> Give me the version of Bruce Lee's Game of Death that's like 30 minutes long and has more footage of actual Bruce Lee in it. Yeah. It's one thing I, it pisses me off about my digital copy of Drunken Master 2. It's just like, it's like only the English dub and that's it. I'm like, what the heck? I guess you could just <laughs> find the... But it was extremely your... cheap when I got it. So that's yeah. why I was just like, well, I guess I'll just buy it instead of renting it. There you go. So, <laughs> but worth the half. Absolutely. And Drink I, up. Yes. I guess with that or being don't, said. Don't drink too much. And don't drink kerosene. Drink within moderation. Unless doing kung fu. Then drink a lot. Except don't drink kerosene. Yeah, definitely don't do that. And I guess that's out of touch podcast for today. <laughs>